Hi guys, welcome to my mommy days. I have some crock pot recipes that I want to share with you guys. Um, as you know, I'm a working mom and being a working mom, that's me, say hi. Hi. That's my little, little one, Kingston. The older one's out playing golf with daddy. Okay, so I have five recipes and really they're the main meats. Um, you can make mashed potatoes or rice or veggies to go with these. And I know meat really takes a while to cook because you want to cook it slow and make sure it gets cooked. <laughs> Okay, all right, so all of our meats we have, I'm cooking with chicken and beef, bottom round steaks, two pounds bottom round steaks, they're in a Ziploc bag and I'll tell you why in a minute, and then I have two pounds of boneless, skinless oh, chicken breast. And I have another two to three boneless, skinless chicken breasts here. Four pork chops, about an inch thick. And then another, a pound and a half of chicken breast. Now these should get you all through the week if you're feeding a family. I have a family of four, me, my husband, and my one, or my two-year-old and my three-year-old. And they eat a lot because boys eat a lot. So they're in bags so that you can prepare the meat and then put it in the freezer so it's good to go for the rest of the week. You have it all stored and I'm ready to just pop into your crock pot. So the first one we will do is the Hawaiian chicken. Oh, and I got these recipes on savingyoudinero.com. I believe her name was Janelle who posted these five recipes. You make them real quick in the Ziploc bag, pop them in the freezer, and then when you're ready, you take them out, pop them in your crock pot. I know some people don't like to put frozen meat in the crock pot. That's fine. Just take your bag of meat that you want to cook out the night before so that it will thaw, and then in the morning, put it in the crock pot, set it, go to work, come back, ready to go. All you're going to have to maybe make is some... Rice or instant mashed potatoes are pretty dang easy. Okay, so first meat to prepare is the Hawaiian chicken. And what I did was write what it is and then everything that's going to go in it and how you're going to cook it. So you have your ingredients and your instructions and what it is all in the same bag, ready to go, no questions. So the Hawaiian chicken, first you're going to put in two to three boneless chicken breasts. Already did that. Good to go. Next you're going to put in half a cup of white sugar. White sugar. And my third cup, half cup. Okay. So you're going to open it up. Get your half a cup and pour it in your bag. Just like that. Then I wrote on here a half cup of vinegar. Pour and pour it in the bag. And this is all to get your meat marinated up really nice so it tastes good because I don't know about your kids, but mine are super, super picky. And if it's not delicious and amazing, they're not going to eat it. Okay. And the recipe calls for three minced garlic cloves. Now, let me tell you a trick about that that's going to save you time. Garlic cloves, they are time consuming to smash up, mash up. I prefer to just buy at the grocery store and we shop at Food Line, so you can get this at Food Line, um, this stuff. The minced garlic. And it's basically the clove all chopped up ready to go so you don't have to spend the time and effort doing that. And I would say about three minced cloves. I'm going to put a tablespoon. And if you like garlic, well, put more. If you don't, put less. It's whatever you want to do. 
but the recipe calls for three minced garlic cloves. Got that in my bag. Then next, two tablespoons of soy sauce. So we got the soy sauce light, and it is generic because generic saves you money. I don't think name brand soy sauce is a big deal. So here we go. One. Two. Okay, there's your two tablespoons all in the back. Then it calls for a half a cup of pineapple juice and a half can of large pineapple chunks. So I just have this, the dull, but I got crushed pineapples. I don't know if it really matters, but we're just gonna pour the whole can of this in here. So that should be really sweet and amazing. So, there you go. There's your first bag of meat to marinate and store in the freezer. So we'll just put this one to the side. Okay, our next meat to prepare for the week is teriyaki pork chops. So I got four pork chops about an inch thick in my bag, and it says to salt and pepper to taste. You can do this before you put it in the bag, but I'm just going to go ahead and do it while they're in the bag. So I got my pepper. Salt that up a little bit. And dip it. It all okay, next, two cloves of garlic mint. And of course, I don't mess around with smashing cloves all day long. So I have my already minced garlic. There you go. And I'm just going to get a teaspoon of that and pour it. Okay. Next, we need two tablespoons of brown sugar. Two tablespoons. One. Two. I'm going to add a little more because I like brown sugar and squish it all in there. Okay, next we need a quarter cup of soy sauce. So here is my quarter cup, and here is my soy sauce. I'm going to pour it in my bag of pork chops. And then the last ingredient for the pork chops is a third cup of chicken broth. I got some Swanson chicken broth. Pour it in. There, now my bag is all good to go. So just like the other one, you can pop it in the freezer and when you're ready to cook it, put it in the crock pot and cook on, I would say low for six to seven hours. So let's put this one back here. All right, we got three more bags to go. Let's do the garlic honey chicken. It calls for two pounds of boneless, skinless chicken breast. And in this recipe, we are going to add three garlic cloves mints. So really, we'll just do a big old teaspoon of our already minced garlic. So much easier than mashing up garlic cloves. And a third cup soy sauce. Here's my third cup. I'll dump it in the bag. Okay, next it says two third cups of ketchup. So we'll kind of just dump some ketchup in there. That should be about two thirds of a cup. Okay, next, a quarter cup of 
I can't even read my writing. Okay, next, after the ketchup, we are going to add a quarter cup of honey. So here's my little honey bear, and here is my quarter of a cup. Lay that in the bag. A quarter cup of honey for the garlic honey chicken. Good. I'm just gonna squeeze a little more. I want it sweet. Okay. And your garlic honey chicken is all marinated up. So got two more. This one is our beef burritos, which we're gonna shred up the beef after it's done cooking in the crock pot. Um, after it's done cooking for about six to seven hours, you can take it out shred it up, put it back in the crock pot with the juices for another 30 minutes. And that's how you are going to serve this with um, burritos or even tacos. So that should be really good. So I have two pounds of my bottom round steak here in my bag. And in this, I'm going to put one diced onion. Diced onion. Put it in my bag because it falls all over the table. Okay. okay. Diced onions. Four minced garlic cloves. So I'm going to take two. One really big, well, we'll make it two. All right, two heaping tablespoons of garlic. And then it calls for two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. So, one, two. Next, we need two 8-ounce cans of tomato sauce or one 16-ounce can of tomato sauce. And this is what I have, um, Tuto Rosso New World Style Tomato Sauce. It was cheap, so here we go. Pour it in the bag. Can you move moving the chair around? It's not going. Then we need one chipotle pepper, which this is the chipotle stuff I have, San Marcos chipotle peppers. And we're just gonna get one of those out. Scoop out one, throw it in the bag. And then it calls for one and a half teaspoons of chili powder. So I'm just going to pour some chili powder in my bag. And now you're done with your fourth meat preparation. And for this one, pop it in the crock pot for six to seven hours on low. And when it's done cooking, oh. take it out, shred up the beef, oh. and then throw it back in the pot for another oh. 30 minutes. And then you can serve this with hard shell tacos, soft shell tacos, tortillas. It's going to be your beef burrito mix. Okay, now we're going to do the chicken fajitas. I got three boneless, skinless chicken breasts in here, and we are going to add a couple peppers, whatever kind of peppers you like. I just have a pepper medley from Food Lion. And I'm just gonna open this up. And put a couple of those in my bag. Okay. And after the peppers, we're gonna add onion. You can do like a one really large onion. You could chop up half of it. 
Um, if you like a lot of onion, you can put as much as you want, really. But I'm just doing half of a really large onion, chopped up. Next, we're going to put half a cup of chicken broth. So here is my Swanson's chicken broth again, and my measuring cup. Half cup chicken broth in the back. And then a little bit of salt, it says a teaspoon. So that's about a teaspoon. And a teaspoon and a half of chili powder. Teaspoon and a half of chili powder. That should be about right. And then they want you to add some taco seasoning. Um, I just got this McCormick Taco Original. So I'll just open that up. What you doing, Kingston? And dump it in my bag. Are you playing with the dishes? Okay. Yeah? Okay. And then we mix it all up, mix it all up. done. We have our five meats all in the bags ready to go. The chicken fajita, our garlic honey, our teriyaki pork chops, our Hawaiian chicken, Hawaiian chicken, and our brown steak for the shredded beef burritos or tacos, however you want to do it. Hi. Are you going to say hi again? Okay. So we have all of our bags here, and I'm just going to go ahead and put them in the freezer. And as the week starts, just pop one out the night before. And then when I get up in the morning, I'll turn my crock pot on, throw it in the crock pot. And then when I get home, it'll be ready. All I got to make is maybe some minute rice or the instant potatoes that take literally two minutes to make great when you have kids, um, really quick and easy. So the instant potatoes are good, or just steam up some vegetables, um, that's really good as well. So you have all these great meats to choose from in your freezer, and honestly, it cost me about $60 for all the meat, and then I bought a can of pineapple, the peppers, the chili powder, um, chipotle peppers, chicken broth, garlic, vinegar, two vinegars, the apple cider, and the regular white vinegar, soy sauce, honey, ketchup. Um, I believe that was it. Maybe a couple other ingredients. Affordable, and we shop at Food Lion, so um, that saves us money there. And so, yeah, there you go. You got your five meats already in the freezer. Get up in the morning, pop them in the crock pot, and when you come home, make some rice, veggies, or instant mashed potatoes to go along with it, and you have got an amazing dinner. So I personally have not tried these yet, but when I do, I will let you know, and I will post the recipe and all the ingredients, okay? So thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy. Say bye. Bye.